Hello, welcome. I'm Paul. Today we are going to take a look at pick up notes and type notes. And to demonstrate that, uh, here is a nice piece Michael wrote about. Now let's uh, take a look at this piece. And you can see from here that the time signature is 4 4, meaning that there are 4 counts in one measure. And the uh, bottom 4 signifies a quarter note who represent one count. So in this case here, yeah, we're using the crotchet as one count. So if you take a look at this, the there's supposed to be four counts in measure, but the first measure has only two. And this is called pickup notes. So sometimes we have pickup notes in front, and then in order to balance the short of the shortage of the count, we will uh, add up at the back so we put the remaining ma missing counts at the back so here we have 1, 2 and 3, 4 so if you take the two counts in front add to the two counts at the back that will total up 4 counts so this concept is called pick up notes so for purposes of counting we don't count this as 1, 2 but we count it as 3, 4 because 1, 2 is down here at the back okay so before you start playing, you count 1, 2, then 3, 4, you start playing this. Alright, and so it will go like this. Um, okay, so this is how you count 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, you play this. Alright, now this, the second measure has got something new. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, if you put a dot after a note, it means you add half of its original value to it. So this uh, quarter note crotchet has got one count. So when you put a dot, you add half a count to it. So this note takes one and a half count, 1.5 count. So and then it balances up with uh, the quaver here. And this quaver has got a tail. And in the previous uh, videos you saw quavers have got a bar on top so that bar is only when you have two quavers side by side if you have two quavers side by side you join them together with the bar but if you have a single quaver sitting alone you will put a tail so this is a 1 8 note also known as a quaver and it, it, it is a half count so we have 1.5 count here and half count here so one half and half will be two counts all right so how do you count this? You will count this as 1, 2, and 3, 4. So when you come to the second measure, you would play it as 1, 2, and 3, 4. One more time. 1, 2, and 3, 4. One more time. 1, 2, and 3, 4. So you will play this uh, note in the end count. So you will count as 1, 2, and play this alright so and then uh, the rest remain the same and over here again you have one two and three four okay so I'm not I'm not going to play through the whole piece and you will probably get a better idea now over here is two counts this is the medium two counts and the last one is just one two because it's balanced in the front with the three and four okay let's start <coughs> One, two, when I say three, you start playing. When I say three, you start playing this note. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I forgot to explain this. This means a tie. T-I-E, tie. Tie means you combine the value of two notes together. But you only play the first note and you hold it for a duration of the second note. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Alright, now I'm going to play through it, this time without counting. Ready? 1, 2. Alright, 
That's how it's done. You notice I'm playing totally with the thumb and this is okay. You can play with the thumb or you could play with BIMA fingering. It's up to you. Alright, so this is how you play this piece. Uh, so go and practice it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.